I am Dr. Anil Satyadas, anesthesiologist and uh, intensivist. So today we will discuss the uh, rational use of oxygen during the, during the pandemic. So uh, there are many guidelines which target different endpoints. So you would have national guidelines giving uh, up to two uh, endpoints. Uh, state guidelines might be giving another WHO would having one. So one first of all, oxygen is a drug. So being a drug, it should have its own prescription. Prescription, the dosage like how much liter per minute especially with a target endpoint so that is usually said as uh, either in terms of uh, partial pressure of oxygen in the abg or in terms of spo2 there are two categories of patient one category of patient is having distress so you target 94 percentage if second category of patient is target is having no distress so you target 90 percent that's the most easiest thing and always remember to prone such patients. Any patient who is on oxygen, try to prone. And uh, you can use devices which uh, have high flow rates like uh, a non-invasive ventilation, which has additional pressure also. So the mean airway pressure would be increased and your oxygenation would improve for patients who have distress. So go for uh, positive pressure ventilation with NIV or in invasive mechanical ventilation in patients who have dif uh, distress and target a saturation for around 94. Patient is not in distress, you can come down to simple face mask, nasal cannula or HFNC should be used as a last resort because the flow rates are very, very high. Uh, coming to the technical aspects, always have a surveillance uh, going on every day. You should see the surveillance and look for leaks. So, leak surveillance should be there and rectify any defects if any. And always have a backup for your ICU or your ward, like a bulk cylinder with a conversion kit, which you can connect to the pipeline and get the uh, backup. Administrative issues are always have a audit. You, sh you should know the daily use of oxygen and uh, storage should be adequate so as to uh, meet the requirement. That depends on how frequently you would get uh, your supply as well as the number of patients and usage. Thank you.